Jamaica's Daniel Williams and other Jamaican hurdlers, including Hansel Parchment and Rashawn Clark, face major barriers in tomorrow's Prefontaine Classic in the United States as they take on some of their greatest rivals. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here. Thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button as we continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Lots of you enjoy the content. Please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. And ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Jamaican hurdlers will be out tomorrow in force at the Prefontaine Classic taking place in Eugene, Oregon, including the likes of the defending World Olympic, well, I should say the Olympic champion, the one and only Hansel Parchment. Parchment has a major a hurdle to climb tomorrow as he takes on two of his well i'd say his two biggest rival for the 2024 season these are of course none other than the brilliant hurdler the american correction the americans this young man grant holloway as well as this young man daniel roberts who he has faced twice already for the 2024 season in the men's 110 meters hurdles uh, tomorrow uh, Jamaica's Hans Parchman takes on the likes of Trey Cunningham, Grant Holloway, as well as Daniel Roberts. Not to say the other people are significant, but Daniel Roberts has been on a kind of tear. How will Hans Parchman, um, how will he perform in this instance? Holloway's got him at the air, comes Anthony Parchman, and Parchman is storming through. The Olympic champion takes it, 12.94. Well, he's always strong over the last couple of... Daniel Roberts, the American, has defeated Hansa Parchment at least twice in the two races in China. So will history repeat itself at the Prefontaine Classic? Hansa Parchment did state that he is just sort of getting warmed up and that we should not anticipate much. This, of course, was when he ran those two races in China. Those were his season openers. So will he be able to cross this particular barrier? 400 meter hurdle sensation, this young man was Sean Clark, as well as the heel Hyde Malik Smith band take on this young man, the current world's best for the 2024 season, Ry Benjamin of the United States, in the men's 400 meters hurdles. The field, which includes the likes of Trevor, Trevor Bassett, Ry Benjamin, Rashawn Clark, Jaheel Hyde, Malik James <coughs> King. Who did a really brilliant job at the inaugural Jamaica Invitational um, at the National Stadium running 48.39 should be an, an interesting lineup seeing as how the American Ry Benjamin is absolutely on a tear globally another hurdle for the Jamaican hurdlers to pass surpass at the Prefontaine Classic Men's 400 meter hurdles off and running. Jackie Hyde in lane number six has come as well. Kyra at obstacles chasing in lane number five. Shakir Blake, the junior from Jamaica in lane number seven, also moving well down the back stretch. The world championship silver medalist Kyra McMaster now taking charge in 200 meters. McMaster from the British Virgin Islands in lane number five. He's hurt in first. Malik James King of Jamaica in lane number four trying to come forward. Into the straight they come, McMaster and King, the BBI and Jamaica. Look at this one from Malik James King. What a turn up! Malik James King over the front of the rear. What a massive steal! Malik James King! That is a massive line for the best. That is an Olympic qualifier. So how do you think the Jamaicans will fare in tomorrow's men's 400 meter hurdles at the Prefontaine Classic in Eugene, Oregon? Now, the defending world champion, the remarkable Daniel Williams, takes on several of her rivals at the same event in the women's 100 meters hurdles. In another super stacked field in the women's 100 meter hurdles, the remarkable world defending world champion takes on the likes of Masai Russell to name Marshall, Alasia Johnson, Kendra Harrison, Devine Charlton, Jasmine Camacho Queen, and Nia Ali. I mean, talking about a who's who.
who in track and field the only persons i think missing from this i think is kendra harrison um akira nugent Brittany anderson and of course megan tapper so this is going to be another big one of course one must concede that daniel williams has been improving dramatically at the inaugural jamaica athletics invitational she did run a new season's best a time of 12.46 if my memory serves me correctly uh, improving her time significantly although she lost to toby amosan in the women's 100 meter hurdles at the national stadium in this uh, uh event women's 100 hurdles and they're away Nia Addy with a brilliant start Daniel Williams going crazy Addy and Williams here comes Anderson Williams and Anderson Williams and Anderson gets there the winner of Rick and Holder at 12.37 the senior record is 12.49 I should remind you that Toby Amerson's time of 12.40 was a world leading time and may still be I didn't go and check but uh, Daniel Williams has been improving and improving and improving. So I'm expecting to her to improve once more for uh, this event at the Prefontaine Classic because that's a heck of a lineup, people. That's almost like a Paris Olympic Games finals lineup. It's, I mean, it's going to be crazy. But I do anticipate that the world champion will do well. I was hoping to see at least Megan Tapper in this instance, but I guess uh, her team decided that she didn't need to run. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Um... Our, our, our herders are doing pretty well. Parchment, I believe, is improving at the right pace, as is Daniel Williams, because I'm going to say it again. This is a relatively long season, and I'm going to keep underlining this statement ad nauseum. We want our athletes to start peaking at the Jamaica National Championships and not before. Preferably, we want them to run really well there make it through to the team and peak at the Paris Olympic Games. That's what you ideally want. So I am honestly not very concerned about winning at this point in time. Winning a race or two would be good psychologically. It would boost the athlete and, um, you know, would put them in good stead. But my key here is peaking at the right time. And I know some people say, what do you mean? But trust me, the great coaches know that you can peak the athlete at the right time once you understand. Meaning, when I say peak, let me define. I'm talking about the athlete being in their best condition, fastest, uh, technically at their best proficiency. Very, very best. That's what you want. So you want this to happen in the Paris Olympic Games because the truth is, everybody is trying to get a gold medal at the Paris Olympic Games. Nobody, none of these athletes want to win silver or bronze. They'll take it if they have to. And certainly nobody's working hard for fourth place. So I think these athletes do have barriers to cross tomorrow in the Prefontaine Classic because they're taking on some of the best in the world. But underscore that our Jamaican athletes are also some of the best in the world. So this should be very interesting. Really want to see how Hansa Parchment improves. I think he will. Um, Roshan Clark, taking a big look at him. Malik James Smithman. Oh my God. Call the young man's name incorrectly. You know what I'm talking about. Apologies, young man. Um really looking forward to see what he does uh and of course daniel williams but this of course is my two cents i'd love to hear your thoughts now don't forget to hit the subscribe button the notification bell hit the like button remember your royals your kings and queens bless up